Welcome, everybody. It is my great honor to have you here today to celebrate the third anniversary of a collaboration between Elastic and Alibaba Cloud. I'd like to introduce the CEO and founder of Elastic, Shai Bannon, and the vice president of Alibaba Group, Jia Yangqing. And so today we're going to be talking about some pretty big areas. One of which is open source, which both, both of you are very familiar with and very excited about and very passionate about. Just maybe if you want to say a few words, talk about the partnership, that'd be great. Obviously, uh, have a chance to, uh, to discuss all the wonderful partnership that we've had so far and in the future. Um, so that this partnership started um, even before uh, 2017, but uh, we started to provide the service in 2017, and we've seen an amazing adoption of it. And I think it made a big difference, uh, both in the China market, but also globally. So, Yangqing, what do you think of yeah. the the relationship between Elastic and Alibaba Cloud? How have you seen it be very successful? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm really excited to see the uh, collaboration basically uh, spawning and then growing really rapidly in the last three years. And I guess I can share some numbers uh, to the audience so that we can know the, the size and the success about it. So two numbers that are super important. One is 20. So basically when we're looking back into the collaborations, Elasticsearch on Alibaba Cloud right now actually supports more than about 10 petabytes of data. And to put that in perspective, then that is about the size of about 20 Library of Congress can hold, which is really great. And the number is not only about the sheer size, it's also about the diversity. So, and the other one is uh, I want to share is 50. So we basically interviewed about a thousand Alibaba Cloud users and actually more than 50% of them uses Elasticsearch. And the good thing is they're not only internet companies, but we're seeing a booming number of the, what we call conventional business adopters. So traditional retail companies, logistics, finance, manufacturing, and things like that. They're all basically using Elastic to basically build their business on top of the digital transformation that, are, that, that they're undergoing. So that's a really great collaboration going on. Yeah, no, that's, that's, those are pretty phenomenal numbers. And so mm -hmm. why do you think it has been so successful? What do you think the secret sauce for that success is? It's just an extremely useful uh, feature across the board. I mean, if we look around us, we see search boxes all around us uh, and the ability to get data and make it searchable. Uh, so if you want to add a search box to your website, to your application on your mobile devices, uh, if you want to put a search box on your infrastructure to monitor and observe it, or if you want to put a search box on your company to protect it from uh, from various uh, threats. Uh, those are the things that we focus on doing in Elastic. And uh, when the cloud happened and you know cloud native uh, efforts started to uh, become more real, uh, obviously search as a core technology is foundational to any such effort like that. On top of that, we build our products in a way that are easy to use and easy to manage. Uh, they're, they're very much developer first products, uh, API first products, things that you can easily both go and start to plug into your orchestration tool and into your systems, either through APIs or through uh, uh, wonderful UI experiences. Uh, so all of these things I think help uh, make it more of a cloud native product. And then thanks to the wonderful work done by the Alibaba Cloud team, you can take these products in our collaboration and provide it as a service with one click experience and right. one click deployment and scaling, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so the ability to actually take everything that we do and build and all the experience that we have together with the team at Alibaba Cloud and being able to bring it to the customers in a cloud native experience, that I think what makes it special. Sure. Right. Do you have any examples of that in action? Any examples in recent um, where you've where you've deployed? So a lot of them use Elasticsearch, and then the good thing is that when they are basically you know like really quickly ramping up their business on like how to connect teachers with the students and how to actually provide the best qualities, they don't really need to rapidly scale their IT team to basically scale up the, the infrastructure, right? Because cloud native enables them to basically very quickly um, pull up a bunch of machines and services and things like that. And that has been one core uh, value proposition that we have for them because they can focus on 
quote unquote, the business education. And we take care of the underlying technology for them. So Yang Qing, I just wanted yeah. to ask you about uh, the effect that open source we've been talking about, the effect that right. open source has on the cloud. Does it have some kind of effect in some way? In a world where a lot of the interfaces, the APAs are closed to source and not collaborative, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, we're going to be having different components really hard to plug into each other. And we're going to be having quite a lot of plumbing, plumbing work to do if we want to build an end-to-end -end system that contains, let's say, search, and then, you know, like databases, the fundamental infrastructures and applications on top of it. And that makes a large number of developers' life much easier because now open source makes these kind of components naturally connect into each other in a much more easy fashion. Mm -hmm. The other thing that open source has is always developer-centric. Uh, nowadays, we no longer buy books or tutorials or things like that written in paper forms because a lot of things are basically, you know, like examples with code, right? Mm -hmm. So building a business has been, uh, well, building the technology framework for supporting the business has become much more easier. And now from a cloud provider's perspective, an open source helps us to basically break down the technology barrier and to have a much more standard open and public technology system. And then we can basically uh, foster the deployment of such technology with the fundamental infrastructure that we have, that we have built over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so what is, what is uh, Alibaba Cloud's commitment to open source? Uh, yeah, so, um, so interesting enough, Alibaba has a open source office, mm -hmm. just as a lot of other technology companies have, and has been there for quite some time. Uh, I started basically supporting that office as well as my daily job. Now, on top of that, we would like to see ourselves to contribute actively to the open source community. Right. Uh, and uh, we have quite, actually quite a lot of developers. Um, more than a thousand open source projects have been released um, from Alibaba. And then we're probably um, having about, you know, like 700,000 developers on uh, GitHub that are starring and following the uh, Alibaba projects. So we want to make sure that we are contributing back to the community very actively. Right. Uh, the third one is we would like to also help drive in the open source community in the sense that we have quite a lot of experience in looking into and solving large scale systems projects. Right? An open source community has been really great in terms of user centric and user experience centric. I just want to circle back on, on a question that I'm very curious about, which is the impact that cloud native has on open source. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that impact? Yeah, of course. I, I think that there's a, a few aspects to uh, the impact of cloud native uh, on top of open source. I think the first one is uh, the applicability of open source is even more important, I think, when it comes to cloud native solutions. Um, open source tended to also be uh, aligned with developer first mindset. So what does it mean to build tools to developers that ends up going and building these online education efforts that uh, was mentioned and many other efforts and cloud native is also about empowering the developer and i would say that many of the projects that are uh, leading the infrastructure and the foundations for cloud native efforts and others mm -hmm. are open source because building on top of these open source foundations help really build a better infrastructure uh, to power these cloud native efforts that's great hey i, I want to talk about digital transformation it seems like 99% of CIOs or CEOs just think digital transformation is the most important thing in the universe right now. And so I'd be very interested to understand, Shai, what is Elastic's role in digital transformation? We build products that can enable uh, CIOs and leaders in organizations to be able to implement that and, and do it as fast as possible. So if you think about some of the characteristics of digital transformation, the first one is, well, more things become digital, right? It's like uh, um, if you work uh, remotely, then phone calls maybe that you used to have are now 
scripts on chat or interactions or collaborations on shared documents and things along those lines. All of that is suddenly digital. And I think anything that digital should be searchable. Uh, that's a wonderful information that anybody should have access to within the company to help make better business decision. Right. Uh, so search, I think, is fundamental to the discovery of any data that comes in and definitely one that is created through digital transformation. That, by the way, applies also to, um, to customers of products. You know, it's like suddenly if you move something to become an online service to an application on your mobile phone, then that suddenly need, probably needs a search box on it to be able to go and search the information. It's the most natural way to engage probably with systems out there. Uh, obviously, as you have digital transformations, you're gonna use more, more infrastructure to power it. And it's gonna be even more critical for your business to make sure that it's up and running in service of your customers. Uh, so that's called our observability product suite. And that's something that we're investing heavily as well. And the last bit is security. As you have more and more digital footprint, uh, there's potentially more vector of attacks that you might get uh, either internally or externally. Um, and you need to be able to go and secure it. The ability to search through your data to if you see a security breach or if you need to make sure that you protect it, that's something that we're seeing many organizations across the world using Elastic for, and that's Elastic Security and specifically within it, something called SIM, S-I-E-M. I think the, the first part is just uh, believing in search as being a universal experience that applies to almost any use case. And uh, I think over the years, we've proven that search is just a universal experience that have applied to many, many different use cases. It means that we can build better search because it's a feedback loop that goes and, you know, someone needs something new and we'll go and implement it. You need to be able to index new information faster because it's a new use cases. We'll go and do that. Uh, the way that you present uh, results, the relevancy of them is obviously critical. So we'll have multiple relevancy models. Um, we're also building on top of the uh, really um, power of open source. I think the collaboration and the community that we've created across the globe uh, means that we're always ahead thanks to the innovation of hundreds of thousands of developers and contributors that helps makes the product every single day make it better. Yeah. Great, thank you very much for that. That's, that's amazing. And what do you think, uh, or, or what does Alibaba Cloud plan to be doing in the future in this space? I think um, we are seeing a very mature infrastructure, infrastructure other than basically you know, like upgrading our machines, making sure that they are like really stable and things like that. Uh, it's probably gonna be uh, very similar in the next few years for the customer side. The biggest, biggest uh, change that we're seeing um, or like we're, we're predicting to, to yet to come is the combination of AI and big data. Search being one really important topic in AI and big data. What do you think? What do you think the future holds for the, the collaboration, the relationship between Alibaba Cloud and Elastic? One is that regarding the collaboration of ourselves, I think we are creating a really great and reproducible path for us to collaborate on the open source and cloud native parts. Right. I think we've talked about the technology front, but it's really the great people that get in these kinds of things together. And the other aspect is when we're going together into the, into the business side to serve our customers with, with great technology. I think about it on two levels. The first one is we've built such a strong foundation with Alibaba Cloud that anything new that we develop on our products, our, our users on, and customers on Alibaba Cloud immediately have access to it. Um, so that's wonderful. If we, uh, we create a workplace search product or make our observability tools better so you can monitor your infrastructure, make sure that it's up, improve our security capabilities. All of these capabilities make search faster, more relevant, integrate AI. Everything is immediately reflected in the Alibaba cloud service, which is great. That's great. Well, thank you very much guys for, for joining us today to talk about open source and and digital transformation and, and native cloud or cloud native. And enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks again. so much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again.